What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing low profile bed stiffeners. I got these from Michael at CJD Racing. He makes these in house and he does a lot of suspension components for Nissans. Uh, everything from the Titan to the Frontier and so on. Some of you guys might be wondering why you'd want to run a low profile bed stiffener or a bed stiffener in general. And this is going to help you reduce risk of cracking the bed when you're doing off-roading. You're getting more articulation. The bed's going to be flexing. There's going to be more vibrations running through it. This will help mitigate the risk of all those uh, unfortunate things that might happen. So I'm just going to do a quick mock-up. I'm going to mark these uh, with silver sharpie. I might mask it off just to get really clean uh, uh, and line it up. Uh, I think I'm going to do it here just because I don't want to have it sit along the seam or drill too close to the seam and should be pretty good right there i'm gonna have the bolts face inward uh, i kind of dabbled it facing outwards might look kind of cool but this is probably the cleanest way to do it there is a spot weld right there you can see the edge of it uh i don't think it's a big deal if i drill through it and then run a bolt through it um it might be a huge no-no but i'm just gonna do it anyway so before we do that uh, we got to get rid of these lights because when the bolts run through here, um, I got to check the other side, you know, obviously tighten them. So that's going to be the first step. I got to remove the uh, CV antenna because it mounts right there. Um, it's going to block me taking out the light and then we can take out the light and then we're going to do the other side. So I'll go through the tools that I'm going to be using in the video real quick. I've got uh, just some tape to ma mark it up. Uh, silver Sharpie that'll come in really handy on the black paint. A uh, set of these Ryobi drill bits these were like 30 bucks at home depot and um i know it's kind of handy to have i didn't really have a set before and this was pretty decently cheap so i'll give this a try uh, i got my ruby screwdriver a spanner and i also got this punch from harbor freight these are pretty cheap and all you basically do is you find the place you want to drill it punch it it pops real quick and then you can't really see it but it leaves a little indentation right there and that'll help guide your bit so i'll probably do a smaller size obviously first just to get the hole through and then i'll guide it with the bigger one so if you've never taken off your rear lights it's just this bolt here and this bolt or because there's a cv there it is that bolt so i'm just gonna hang the lights right there it's probably not the best way to do it but it's gonna i think it's gonna be fine um i don't want to take this cv thing out because there's a bolt here and then there's a a nut on the other side so it's kind of a pain to put back in sometimes so i'm just gonna avoid that finished drilling holes and I have these put in here loose not uh, tightened up yet just because I wanted to show you guys what I did I used a 11 out of 32 bit um, this matches the hole that is actually drilled in the bedside stiffener um, I didn't want to use the same size as this because that way I could have a little bit of wiggle room if my measurements were slightly incorrect that way the whole unit if my measurements were incorrect, um, I could still wiggle this around just a little bit and get it, it finely tuned so it's nice and straight. Because if I don't have that nice and straight, that's probably going to drive my OCD pretty crazy. The washer is not going to want to made up. I'll show you guys what I mean. So if I put this in here, see this washer? This washer is not going to want to sit flat in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angle grinder and it barely fits in there. I'm going to cut a little bit of this bracket out right here. Should be fine. Um, just might be a little difficult. So it might take me a time, but I will show you guys the finished product. Just going to take off probably like, like that much off each side, whatever I can get off. Um, I think we'll be fine. So instead of using the angle grinder, because it was going to rub if I used it and not work properly, I actually took a flathead right here and I took it on the inside and I just whacked it until 
the lip was flat and then I ran the, uh, the bolt through it and kind of flattened it. This worked a lot better than I thought it was gonna. I initially used in uh, the impact gun and see if I could just tighten it so it would flatten um, this lip right here, but it actually broke on the other side. This dude right here broke off. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. Yeah, right here. So that was unfortunate, but luckily I have a bunch of these spare bolts, so it's not gonna be a big deal. So now that we've got this side buttoned up, everything's tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and do that side. And I'll show you guys the finished product since it's basically the same thing on that side. I'll probably have to do the same thing with that lip right there. But now that I know what to do, it shouldn't be too bad. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, so I got these installed. The lights hooked back up and this is what they look like pretty stoked with that pretty low profile not very noticeable and hopefully with the boxes there i can still put a mountain bike there and a mountain bike there i actually wound up taking the tailgate off because it was just easier to get under the bolts by myself and use the impact on top and get down below one thing to note too if you've never taken your tailgate off is you literally just take this bolt out and that bolt, um, it's just the one that has the holder connecting to it. And you basically just unhook this hinge right here, rotate it, the tailgate up to about here, and then unhook it up. And then it'll pull straight out because you see it's not like bolted in or anything besides these two points. So hopefully you guys like this video. It's a pretty short one, uh, pretty quick install, a little bit of drilling, little zip tie holders from Amazon with some 3M sticky tape on the back. And I'm going to run it from my bully dog down to keep the wire kind of tucked away. That way it's a little neater. I mean, I don't mind this wire here, like I mentioned in the last video. But hopefully this kind of keeps it straight. The only problem is, like, this surface that Nissan uses for their plastic is, like, you can see it's a little porous. It doesn't, uh, it's not super flat. So I use some uh, stuff to wipe it down and push down the adhesive. So hopefully it holds, but that looks a lot cleaner. So I'll let you guys know if that works out in the long term and I'll put in the link in the description if you want to check it out I had the uh, sticky adhesive on for a couple minutes now and it seems to be holding up all right I still have to do a long-term test but I wanted to show you guys this once you have it butted up against the um, the dash right here and if you close it it doesn't hit as you can see there's enough of a gap in there and it tucks away look nice and neat otherwise the cable comes out here and then kind of dangles in there but i'm super stoked with that if it holds i'll be even happier but there's no rubbing 